Hello everyone, and today we're back into the 100 Battle Challenge, and we are in Episode 7. So, we're doing four battles today. We're doing Battle 17, 18, 19, and 20. So, we have four battles with this team, and I decided to pick this team. And I'm a little bit hesitant about this team. I'm kind of nervous about... The biggest thing I'm worried about is Metal Types. So, yeah, Metal Types might be a nightmare with this team, but... We're gonna try it, and we're gonna see if it works alright. Our first one is Cosmiar. Got Cosmiar cracked, which is worth 20 points. If I could set up a couple piece of mines, this thing can sweep right away. So hopefully I can get quite a few of those off. And with Rageful Plushy, I could do a lot of good work with. Next one is Munchwheel. Munchwheel is worth 15. Munchwheel, this is the specialization Munchwheel, so I'm pretty excited to use this again. This is basically for the clips. Infernix is worth 25, so the first three Lumians are worth 60 points. And this is my Pyro one. This is my offensive one I'm going to be using. We got Mocho, which is worth 15, I believe. I believe Mocho is worth 15, but let me check real quick just to make, just to utterly make sure. So it's 60, Mocho is worth... Yeah, Mocho is worth 15. So Mocho is indeed worth... 15 points so yeah mocho is worth 15 points so that would make it so that's 75 servlin is worth five which yeah i gotta make a better servlin set but you know what i'm not even that upset i'm gonna take it for what i get so that makes it at that puts it at 80 then we got windolin which is worth 15 points and our last five is spent on stricicle and Stricicle is my baffle user. I'm going to utilize this to baffle out into better situations. So yeah, that is basically what I want to do. I want to make sure I have items on these two before I start battles. And there's a lot of weaknesses, but hopefully we will be okay. So let's head into battle number one. All right, this is the first battle we're going to use this with this team. And I don't know why he has a random coupling on his team, but this team is rather scary. This is a rather scary team. I gotta bring you because look at that. There's a Dusket and there's a Mutagon. So I pretty much need to bring you. Also, Dazzling Barrage can hit you. I can also hit the Pyrolin, although Pyrolin is gonna smack me hard in return. Zephalin is gonna be bad. Zephalin is gonna be kind of a nightmare to beat. Yeah, Rainbow Pyrolin. Pyro yeah, that's a little scary. I don't really like Pyrolin that much. I'm gonna. I will bring Servlin though. Servlin might be able to beat that. I'll bring Cosmior. Cosmior can do some work. Although you have Shrew Blast, which is kind of scary. Infernix kind of sucks in this battle, although it could be good for the Seer Knight. I guess it could be good for the Seer Knight. Honestly, I think I lead with Mocho in case you leave with Seer Knight. No, I'll lead with Windolin. I'll lead with Windolin, I think. We'll go for the Windolin lead here. Exactly, that's why I went for the Wimbledon lead, because Mutagon can be rather tough to beat. It is a tank Mutagon, so it is going to live the hit. I really want to predict the Joltooth play pretty badly, but I am not. I'm going to stay in, and you decide to stay in on a Wimbledon. Alright then, and I dazed the Mutagon. Okay, that's amazing. Please hit yourself. Yes! Alright, I'm predicting. I am calling a predicted swap here. You're going to go into your Joltu. After you saw that hit, you're going to go into your Joltu. Joltu. Please be the Joltu. Be the Joltu. Bruh. What was that? What was that? What? Well, get Shadow Sprinted. I could have saved my energy. Well, that's unfortunate. Why can't you swap a Duskit on a Windolin? I don't understand that. Now you go in the Dole too. Oh my gosh. Every time I try to do a predict, it fails. Every single time. Yeah, Montreal does not one-shot you. Although I think Windolin already did its job. Windolin already did the job. So I guess I'm just going to dazzle with blood. Garage. I will lose Windolin, unfortunately. But I actually just took it out. Wow. Okay, I got lucky. Well, okay then. <laughs> I will take it. I will take it. The more Lumians I can take out with Windolin, the better. 
That is a very insane start for today. This, considering this is the first battle out of four that we're gonna do, this is off to a very good start. Who do you go into next? He probably did bring his Seer Knight. Seer Knight, or he might also go into his Pyrolin. Which, if Pyrolin comes in, I can actually go for Dazzling Barrage. Not thinking about it, like, Dazzling Barrage, Dazzling Barrage could actually be a good move for hitting through, like, Scapegoat. So, yeah. Problem is that a lot of the Lumions that use Scapegoat would not be in a good matchup for you to really stay in on. Like, Tyrex, a scapegoat, and like a couple other lumens do too, so. I do want to save Wendelin still. I don't really have anything for Serenite. I don't really have anything for Serenite. Waters this. Weak. With you, I could actually body crash, but you're gonna get a minus. No, actually, you're gonna get a plus boast, I think. Because Seer Knight only has 102 attack, unless you're very brawny. If you are very brawny, then this is a massive mistake. If you're not very brawny, though, this is big. Although, I mean, to be fair, the boast boost doesn't even really matter against the Seer Knight, because I'm clicking body crash anyway. So, yeah. We'll go into Servlin now. We do get a plus boast. That could be good later in the battle. It's just. Please don't burn me on the first turn after swapping in. I did not get burned on the first turn. That's good. We'll go for the body crash. Because, yeah, this is scary. I am terrified of the Cyrodite. And when I mean terrified, I am petrified. So, yeah. Body crash, how much would this do? Bruh, Servalin. Servalin. We need a talk, buddy. Why did I use five points on you, man? That did nothing. Like, to be fair, I have no melee defense investment, but still, that's a super effective move, my man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this thing really stinks. Yeah. Servalin is not that good at PvP. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> maybe I could flinch him down. Though. Maybe, maybe I could try to go for the flinch down with. Mega Chomp. I can try to get a couple flinches in there. Considering I do have a plus one boast, it should work out to my advantage. Yeah, that does way more damage. What the heck? Uh, I didn't get the flinch, unfortunately, but that should be low enough for... That should be low enough for Windolin. That should be low enough. Even then, I think Windolin can let it hit a plus one. I think it could. Barely. I could go for Adaptive Assault and then... Yeah, I could go for... I could go for another move after. So, yeah. I'm willing. I'm willing. Um, I can actually just wait on the Mutagon. I can wait on the Mutagon if I have to. What is your last Limian? Is it Zephlin or is it Pyrolin? Pyrolin can be kind of terrifying. It's Zephlin. That's amazing, actually. That is amazing that it's Zephlin. I'm going to go for the Adaptive Assault and just try to do some massive damage. Oh, massive damage. Yes, massive damage. That didn't even do anything. I'm just going to go for the Flail Shadow Sprint because there's nothing else I really need Wendelin for. So, yeah, we can just Flail Shadow Sprint on this thing and win the first battle. This is a pretty solid first battle with this team. I'm, I'm happy on how this first battle went. Although... There are a lot of scary Lumians, which could be terrifying later. So that is something I do gotta be a little concerned about, especially later in battles. Like, if there is, like, a Tundralin... Actually, Tundralin might not be the worst. Tundralin might not be the worst. The biggest threat would be range tanks. I do not want to see a Gastro. Gastro would be horrible, honestly. I guess we'll play out the Mutagon. There's just no reason to really wait or rest, so I just... Flail at it. Do get rid of its tank. <laughs> I would laugh if I flailed down the Mutagon, but I don't think so. I think I will lose Wendelin. Yep, I do lose Wendelin. So that opens the door for... Uh, which one? Let's do Munchwheel, because why not? Let's do Munchwheel. This is your last Lumion, so we're going to go for the Steel Crusher, and that will be the end to battle number one. And we still... That lasted eight minutes, and we still have three more to go. So yeah. Oh, please just click a move. The move is obvious, man. Just click a move. You're dead. This is your last Lumion. Okay. Thank gosh. It's over. 
Let's head into battle number two. I'm sorry, everyone, but the second battle is sadly kind of glitched. I'm sorry about that, but I will at least show y'all what the result is because, yeah, it is very unfortunate that the second battle did glitch out. So I did win the second battle, but I will show you the ending of it. So, yeah, very sorry about that. EVW, let's go to battle number three. That was only five minutes long, my goodness. All right, battle number three now with this team, and let's see what this guy has. Obsidragon, oh no, Obsidragon. Oh no, is there an Obsidragon? Okay, actually, no, how about this thing? Metatode is bad, though. <laughs> Metatode's horrible. Metatode's horrible, actually. Yeah, Metatode's horrible, other than this. Yeah, you look amazing in this battle, actually. Hunter's also pretty bad. I'm not sure how I'm gonna beat the Hunter, necessarily, but boy, I'm gonna try my hardest to. Actually, I think you could be Hunter okay. Well, I guess, yeah... Well, Montreal could be good in some of these, but I don't... I don't think I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna lead off... with you. Who do you lead with? You're gonna place Poison Barbs. You are definitely not going to... You're gonna place Poison Barbs, aren't you? This is a Clutch Plushy Dorgo. Or it's a Baffle Dorgo! Okay, it's a baffle one. It's been a while since I saw one of those. And who's it going to? What? Huh? 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 What? Okay. Well, your Obsidian dead. Oxy Drake, I gotta swap out for. Her. <laughs> okay, I gotta swap out of this. Who do I swap into now? Uh, Code Red. Who do I swap into? So, actually, Infernix can probably live a hit from Hunter, so I think I'll be okay if I do this play. Servlin is kind of a. Servlin is kind of a. I get minus post. Of course, I get minus post. Oh, it's Arctic Shell. Live. I lived. Okay. Okay. You actually lived a hit. You didn't. You didn't choke. Body crash. Do some damage. I need this to do at least a tad bit of damage to the Oxy Drain. Okay. Yes, he stays in. Tad bit. It's a, is that enough? Is that enough? I don't think so. I don't think that's enough damage, man. And I don't want to necessarily reveal my trump card yet. I don't want to reveal my trump card in Mocha. But, it looks like it has to be done. I will go into Ice Cream. And we will click Boom Bash. Yeah, this is unfortunate. I did not want to use this now, but it looks like I might have to. So the Oxy Drake is dead. I did not want to pull the trump card out now, but it looks like I might have needed to. And that's the reason why I didn't want to show my trump card. That's the reason why I didn't want to show my trump card. Because now, I can't sweep anymore. We could go into the Cosmere, though. Cosmere can come in. Cosmere is still at full health, so... Let's utilize that to my advantage. Telekinetic? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go into... 
Okay, I couldn't wait to win the win then. Okay. We'll go for the Meteor Crash. Meteor Crash, do some damage. Not too much, though. Oh my gosh, he's actually clicking Brombus, which is kind of terrifying me a bit. That's a little terrifying, I will not deny. That is a little terrifying. But he definitely goes down in two hits. You're Frost Punching at... <sighs> like, why do you do this? Why? You swap. Don't tell me you went Kodorgo. Went Luminami. I made the right call then. I made the right call. Yeah, Luminami's gonna be tough to beat. Luminami is gonna be rather tough to beat. Actually, no, I got Mocho. I got Mocho. I got Mocho. I can go into that. Yeah, Mocho can come in on the Luminami. Flash Pulse. Ow, oh, it's gonna do some damage. Unless it misses! Deep Freeze! Oh my gosh. <laughs> he missed! He missed. He swapped into who, though? Dorgo. Dorgo hops on in. I already used my chocolate bar. And boy, that did a lot of damage. That did an extreme amount of damage. Okay, we know his last three then. It's Luminami, Mutagon, and Dorgo. Wendelin can win me the game from here. Wendelin can win me the game from here. Wendelin and Mocho can win me the game. So... We're fine. Windling and Mocho wins me the game. I don't have to sack Mocho here. I could save it for that Luminami. Oh, never mind. I guess I don't have to. I can just get rid of it now. <laughs> Jeez, these battles have been awfully quick today. These battles have been really quick. We'll go for the real Frost Beam now. Well, yeah, Luminami is quite tanky, as you can tell. So, yeah. I'm kind of shocked I didn't take it out, though. Mocho does it hard, but yeah, Luminami... Both have nice bowl, so I guess it does make sense that it did lift a hit. It, like, Mocho is one of the hardest range factors in the game. Like, I know it doesn't have the ability to increase it, but still. Like, Mocho hits very hard. There's Mutagon. Mutagon is his last one, I believe, so... Yeah, I think we do lose Mocho, but I think... But, the, you know, the damage has already been done. There's nothing this Mutagon can really do to do anything. Yeah, it does live it. I, I anticipated that. Oh, can I let me look up? I don't have enough energy. Oh crap, I, I clicked wait by accident. <laughs> I was just gonna flail at it. Okay, never mind. Okay, I got okay. Wendelin's gonna come in and clean up. That's three and O oh today. That puts me up to 16 and 3. You know, I'm, I'm gonna use Infernix just for the sake of it. Go for the Infernix play. I don't think I used Infernix yet, so let's bring it in. Get rid of this Mutagon. And we're going to head into battle number four with this team. All right, we're into the fourth and final battle today. Can we make this four for four? And all right, this team, there is a Samarine. Oh, no, there's a Samarine. Uh, how do I beat the Samarine again? Question, how do I beat the Samarine again? This is the answer. I don't. Everything else I could probably beat. But that Samarine is a nightmare. I'm not sure how I'm going to beat that. I probably am forced to bring Mocho just for that, honestly. Just scaring me, because I might honestly die in one hit to that. Although it does have 102 melee defense. Okay, I I I'm going to trust the process. I'm, prob I'm just going to trust the process here. Believe in what I know. We're going to go Mocho, and let's see who you lead off with. Duskin. Okay, I swap. There's no doubt about I swap out. But into who? Into who though? Who could be uh uh a Infernix? You can come in. I I'm just nervous if this is actually the outburst Duskin, and I'm I made a mistake. Okay, no, you're ranged. So you could be mixed Duskin still, but. It looks like you are ranged. I'm gonna go for the Shred Blast. Do some massive damage to ya. Actually, I'll speed your Dusk unless you're... Uh-oh. Unless you're the... Oh, no, okay, it's Phantom Slash. Okay. I was... Critical hit. I see how it is. I'm gonna go for the Shred Blast again. I probably should click Fire Breath in case he swapped into his, like... Sun Marine out of nowhere. That probably would have been the better play. Oh my gosh, a lot of my fans are joining a lot of fans. We'll see what happens here, though. So yeah, Duskit's down. That's big. Duskit being down is a massive, is massive relief. 
We have... So, yeah, this is actually the 20th battle of the series, which is kind of crazy. I did not... This is tw already 20 in, and we're only in episode 7. That's crazy. Let's see who goes in two next. Banfino, that is us. Now that I'm thinking about it... Arc... And that's it. Oh, no, I oh, know. Mew can come in. Yeah, actually... Ice Cream can come in. And I have an idea. I have an idea, although you could be stalking now. Okay, you're not. You're not stalking. Good, you're not stalking now. Thank gosh you're not stalking now. We're gonna go for the peace of mind. And try to use... You're actually staying into a mocho, which I'm a little bit shocked about. I'm a little bit shocked. There are bits of mind-boggling decisions by my opponents today. I'm at plus one. I'm gonna go for the deep freeze. I'm just trying to get rid of this thing. This thing is scary. The quicker I can get rid of this Banfino, the better. Get Banfino! <laughs> get it? Banfino? Okay, that was a horrible pun. I'll stop with my bad puns, guys! I'll stop! I'll stop! Who do you bring in next? That's why I don't want to waste that. Now Samarine's just gonna be a nightmare, okay? I'm gonna try something out. Can I live up? Can I live and erupt the dawn hit at plus two? Let's see. Actually, I don't even think it's Pyro. What is it then? What set is it? Well, we're gonna go. So yeah, yeah, this one might not be as good as the other opponents, but hey, we'll take it. That critical hit. Thank you. Get rid of that erupt the dawn, please. All right. Who do you have left? I I'm scared about Samarine still. He's gonna save his Samarine last and probably get a Samarine sweep. Okay, no, Samarine's in now. Let's get rid of this thing. We gotta get rid of this thing. <laughs> we gotta get rid of this thing. Actually, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Deep Freeze would only do neutral. Samarine's dead. It looks like we're just gonna get a flat out bunch of sweep in the final battle. These battles have been quick today. For being four battles, these have definitely been the quickest. And there's the episode you're gone. Only the episode you're gone's left. We go for the Frost Beam, and that should be the game, honestly. That should be the game. Plus two Mocho should be able to one shot upset you're gone. Unless you're ranged defensive, which you're not. GG's! And wow! Four for four today. That is crazy. We went four for four today with this team, which is crazy. So yeah! 17 and 3 in the 100 battle challenge so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me doing the 100 battle challenge i'm so glad that the series is doing very well and like i said we're going to continue until we get to 100 so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see y'all all later bye bye